Hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Star Vaders. Prototype 0.3, found this on itch.io and thought it looked kind of neat. It's uh, mechs with deck building, and you know what? Well, it's a mech deck builder roguelike, and you know what? I am a uh, big sucker for that kind of stuff. Oh, so we got a mech, but we also have different pilots. So Roxy Complexity, Bold Radiant Trailblazer, Loadout. Uh, first time you overheat, draw two cards, get two heat, sink the next turn. And then these are our starting cards. I'm not even going to think about it. We're just going to dive right in. Uh, Tokyo must win. Reroll, proceed, choose an encounter. Five days remaining. Act one. All right. I don't know what I'm looking at yet, but I'm sure we'll get there. Ooh, okay. So we have... Defeat invaders before they get too close to the bottom by playing cards from your hand. Playing a card discards it and generates heat. Okay, so shift, move to tiles. Bullets. Okay, fire one bullet up. I don't seem to have a limitation on that. I've got three energy. Or, no, that's chrono tokens. Let's see, discard pile. Oh, heat, zero to three. If you exceed the maximum, you'll overheat, burning the played card and ending your turn. First time you overheat, draw two cards, gain... Okay. So to some degree, we kind of want to burn our stuff. Uh, so I can move and do things. So how much HP do these have? I guess time to find out. Let's see. And do we overheat? Now, if you exceed the maximum. So I can actually exceed if I want to. Yeah. So we're just going to do that. We can't afford to overheat too much. Oh. Every turn, refill your... Uh, reset your heat. Destroy enemies to win. But we're up to five. So burnt. What does burnt mean? Unplayable. You get burnt cards through effects such as overheating. Got it. Okay, so we've got fire and fire. And then these guys are going to shoot at me, but I don't care too much. So we're just going to shoot that guy. Scoot here. Shoot the bomb. Blast it. And then there's nothing else I can do at the moment. But I'm just going to line up so I can hit this guy. Alright. So we do have another bomb. But I don't think we want to truck with that at the moment. Alright, let's just put the bomb here. And then we don't want to overheat again. And my deck's not quite big enough to burn too much on overheating. But I figure I can prep some hits. Okay. And I don't want to take any damage. Doom. Generate Doom if not destroyed in time. Eh. We're fine. I guess I could have popped a bomb down too. But whatever. So victory, points earned. Crossfire, bullet that splits into two on hit. One bullet, uh, fire one bullet up from your mech and one from each bomb. Push your mech down, next card gets re uh, repeat. Interesting. Cluster fire. I'm gonna go for cluster fire. Cause that sounds like it can almost use bombs Card, card, or an upgrade. I can almost use bombs to uh, act as turrets. So, redacted under attack, Montreal invasion. I uh, Can I check my deck? Can I actually see what the upgrades of these look like? No. So I'm going to go for the upgrade just to see what we get. Okay, swarmer. When your turn ends, destroys itself if not adjacent to another swarmer. Oh. All right. From your mech and each bomb. Okay, so I'd like to isolate these things a little bit. And we're gonna burn one of these cards. Oh, what is this? Time Angel, when destroyed, gain a... Okay, some enemies may gain a shield. So gotta break the shield to actually do anything with it. That's entirely fair. 
One, two, three, shoot. And then we can do a little bit more. I'm gonna move here just so I can actually kill the invader. Okay, move here. Blast him. This is gonna blow up. I'm just gonna put another... I should have put that bomb down. Let's see, do I do anything else? No. And that flies away in two turns. Or it's already flown away. I... I must I do these things to myself. It's fine. We overheat, but we don't care. What is this upgrade? Is it an upgrade for me or is it an upgrade for a card? Ah. So we get to add something. If this destroys an invader, do not discard it. Create a copy in your discard. Repeat and purge the card. We want to get replicating. Cluster fire. Okay, so we could go for more upgrades, but let's find some other cards. Plus those little bombs are kind of fun to play, play around with and fight. Also moves after another Venegoid is destroyed and a Rocketeer launches rockets at me. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, and they're shielded. So how do we want to do this one? I guess I'm going to move here. Shoot. I can take his shields off. But that's not going to help me much. I'm just going to destroy that anyway. Might be a mistake, but who knows. Okay, so where do we want to put this bomb? Probably here. Right, no. That's how we do it. Okay. I got one more shot if I want to take it. We could also burn more cards. It's probably a mistake. Okay, so the fire starter has already been used. Okay. Last that, end turn. Avoid the Rocketeer. Okay, invaders left alive generate doom cannot be stopped unless they're destroyed. I see. So if I leave these guys here, we get doom. I can't shoot to this side. So I, I think I've screwed myself a little bit. Start of this turn, reshuffle your discard into your deck. I guess it's not a problem. Because these two go away. No doom. Okay, take out its shield. And then we just move out of the way. It does not hit me. It doesn't get its shield back either. Move here, and then we just shoot it. Okay, so I didn't need to use the Chrono Token, but... Good to learn. Choose a tile on the bottom row. Fire one bullet up from that tile when it ends. Push your mech down. Next card gets extra repeat. Throws a Nova Bomb that pushes the first entity hit. I think we want... Bombs. Because I, bene I benefit greatly from bombs. Gift from question mark. Purge a card, draw two cards, reduce heat, create a copy of a card, purge this card. 
Or shuffle your discard into your draw pile, then... Uh, then draw and play all cards with fire in its title for free. That sounds really fun. Okay, and we get a workshop. So we, I have some amount of money. Push your mech down, gets repeat, overclock, retained. Next attack you play gets plus two repeat, plus two heat cost. Swap two entities, Nova Bomb. Start with the core package on the grid. When destroyed, reduce doom by one. M your mech is a bomb. It detonates and strikes adjacent tiles, or I can remove a card. So those do get more expensive. Um, I'm just going to grab another Nova Bomb. Okay, so this is really cute. Let's take a look at the mothership. I'm curious how long these runs are. But I guess we will find out. Admitted to your first boss, congrats. The diamond icon it on entities means they're currently immune and cannot be harmed. Good luck. Okay, so immunity. Nothing will hit it. And then we're just going to shoot this guy. Unfortunately, he is immune. I was wondering about that. I'm just going to put that in front of them. This might work. And then I'm going to destroy those. They take themselves out. Good for me. Bad for them. Put that there. Shield broken. Oh, in retrospect, putting this here was kind of silly unnecessary. Actually, what is this thing? Creates clouds on adjacent tiles. They go ahead and then mothership bits. You know what? I'm just going to take those out. We don't have any more burn, but it's fine. Ish. Wait, what is that going to do? Oh, shield broken. Well, that's exciting. Well, I destroyed it. I would have liked to hit this bomb, but it's fine. Move here. Toss that bomb. Am I actually going to get Doom for this sucker? Ah, I did. Interesting. So despite pushing it back, still Doom. Frustrating. Okay, three bombs on the grid. Uh, let's see. What happens if I get hit? Time to find out. Okay, gained a jam. So that's what hit me. That's actually not a problem. Cloud blocked. Rude. And then let's purge the card. Then end turn. Okay, so what do we have? Let's do that. Break the shields. And then I'm going to move here. And then we're going to shoot them. And then we're going to end. Let's see. L kind of limited on what I can do. Yeah, unfortunately the cloud blocks the hit. Which is rude. Uh, 
Uh, let's see. At least that clears some of the cloud. And then, despite the junk, I'm just going to move here. Jams are annoying, but it's fine. Oh, hello. Okay, move here. Blast them all. And then I can burn... Interesting, you can burn the overheat. Let's uh, redo this one. I'll take it. And we're done. Alright, cool. So we got bullets become short range lasers. Three tiles in a fixed direction. First move card gets repeat. Or first time you draw a junk card, draw another card. Short range laser. Starter fluid is certainly tempting just so I could move twice. My one fear about repeat is it's gonna boost my heat. Lasers though, I'm gonna go for those. Uh, it could be a serious problem. Who knows? I don't. I'm glad that there's a second act in this, though. Okay, I am... Very glad. I have the lasers. I'm just gonna kill that guy, burn the overheat. They really hate me. That's fine. Okay. And I've still got, I've still got plenty. So option A, I'm just gonna move up. Oh, I should have moved up more. Okay. That didn't quite work the way I wanted it to, but it's fine. No, they're gonna hit that bomb, break the shield, but they don't actually kill this guy. Bit of a shame. Uh, let's see. Let's use a chrono token. It looks like I just get them back. Nice. of overkill but it's fine and yeah, I'm never gonna I'm never gonna get the chrono angel much to my generalized chagrin okay move there that blows up that Oh, it moved. Stinky. I'm just not going to be able to hit him, am I? I guess we just have to deal with the doom. Because, yeah, he's going to zip out. I wasn't quite sure what would happen. And now I know. Luckily, we can just shoot him. Okay, we only gained one Doom. It's not the end of the world. It could be. Plasma Fire. Fires a bullet up. Chains to nearby invaders for each junk or burnt card in your hand. Unburn all burnt cards in your hand. Make them free this turn. Struggle invaders without shield and burn all cards in your draw pile. I love Pyroclasm, but we gotta get Salve first. However, now we can start burning cards left and right like crazy. Orchid Swarm, get an artifact or an upgrade. I'm gonna... Yeah, let's go for the artifact. Okay, so how do the Orchids work? Charges up an attack that generates three doom. Oh.
Actually, let's try and redo this one. Okay. And can't do anything else, so we'll just wait. Okay. Last everything, then burn this. So we get our tokens. Uh, wait, hold up. Put this here. And blast it. Nice! Yeah, there's short-range lasers. I'm not sure if that was a good idea, but I like it. All detonations also fire a bullet in a direction upwards. When you place a bomb, pull nearby entities towards it. This would be good. This is incredible. Okay, card card or a rare card? Uh... I'm gonna go for the rare card. It, we need to do some deck management sooner than later. Spawns ticks every other turn. That's a concern. End turn. Because I'm gonna get a jam. Two jams. Okay, so I'm gonna move here. That'll mess them up. Then we move over here. And then we burn that. We get out of the way of Junktown. Okay, so let's... Oh, if I th throw this into the void. Interesting. Okay, fire anything? No. Burn that. And we don't want to do a self. Okay. little stinker. I see. Just does some damage to me. Guess I'm just gonna put that there. And then we'll wait. We're gonna get a bunch of statuses, which I'm not happy about. Uh... here. And then we're just going to burn that. We don't care about overheating. But we do care about the doom. I don't think there's much I can do about it. Is the downside. Yeah, I got too close. Well, I got rid of him at the very least. And then we just have this guy. Come on. Give me better. Thank you. Yeah, the problem with the lasers is I like the AoE, but their uh, range is bad. Draw a burn a scrap. Fire a bullet up. Explosive shield to a non-bomb enemy. Oh, these are cards. Two decoy bombs up to four tiles away. I want those decoy bombs. I hope they count. Okay, so what do we have? Do not end your turn when you overheat. Chance of not burning cards. 
Shield to an enemy, push all adjacents, plasma bomb up to two tiles away. Okay, click to donate a thousand stars to Min. The plasma bomb, though. We could also restock or remove. We could do both. Okay. Might be a mistake. But who knows. Let's get in here and chuck some bombs. Hi. Well, hold up. Devoured an entire town. Oh, this might be a mistake. <laughs> uh... Well, that was a mistake. Purchase card, shield to random enemy, if unplayed. Just overheat by burning that. We don't care about anything else. I kind of knew this was going to happen. But even then. I didn't quite appreciate how absolutely nonsensical this is going to become. Uh, let's see, end turn. Okay. Put those down. And then I'm going to have to move. Move here. Please tell me this is going to do exactly what I think it's going to do. It did. Now this is burnt. Okay, I'm overheating. That slime is gone. Okay, perfect. And then I can keep overheating. We're gaining a lot of doom here, but we're not losing yet. Okay, how do we want to do this one? Put that there. Oh, that's how that works. Okay, so we don't have to worry about that. And then we end turn. I guess I do get a jam for it. Still, all things considered, my gun wall works. I I don't know if the bullet was a good idea or a bad idea. Heat sink, at the end of your turn, burn any cards remaining in your hands. Bombs are pushed up when your turn ends. Mech is a bomb. I don't know, I almost want to go for the nuclear reactor. Bloom uh, Bloom. Sounds great, but this sounds really useful. And I can potentially unburn my cards freely. Uh, so we want to start going for some upgrades. These This run actually is going for a while. Okay, you're new. When destroyed, getting a random junk card. Must be de destroyed one segment at a time. Okay. And that's Cluster Fire. Okay, do that. Blast them all. Shield broken. And then unburn cards. It's fine. Okay, purge this card. If unplayed, gain a jam.
Let's see. I guess we want to just burn both of those. Do we do anything else? No. Oh, I guess I'm going to get hit here. Let's see, we have fire everything, which kind of works. Uh, let's see. But I might want to just scoot back. Uh, let's see. Well, I guess I have to fire everything anyway. Alright. Everything is exploding anyway. What is this? Rude. Uh, can I do better than this? Probably not. I'm gonna just move here preemptively. Guess I'm gonna pop that there, move back, get rid of all of these. Oh. Everything is going to explode now. Actually, that worked out really well for me. Put that there. Worst things have happened. Well, that was smooth. Alright, two decoy bombs. Oh, if you just played a move repeat, draw linked cards in your draw pile. Make them free this turn. Reduce the heat cost by one. Ooh. I like the linked one. That sounds absurdly good if I can get enough. Even though we currently don't have enough upgrades, I'm going to start pursuing it. And I like fighting these snakes. Oh, these are new. And kind of rude. Okay, so here's the question. Move up. Move that there. There's the two decoys. Drop that. Void Rift. Doom when destroyed. I'm just gonna put that there. Now the question is, do we get a pair of junks? Oh, Plasma Bomb. Extra radius for every junk played while on the grid. I'm actually going to redo this one. This is much more my speed. Okay, let's stop. This is some range. So I think I want to move forward no matter what. Then we probably want to pull some things in. I'm going to do that. Moves that there. Blast that. I'm just going to blast that head. I think that's good enough. So he only takes out his shield, but that's fine. I got some things I can do. Okay, move here. Oh, it doesn't actually move his head. Well, that's unfortunate. Okay. This is better. This is way better. Okay, Junk Bomb 1. Junk Bomb 2.
actual bomb three. And then if I move here, I'm out of the firing range. Unless I'm now in the firing range, at which point, I don't know. Okay, and then that's going to get burnt. I guess I could have let it get burnt, but there's no point in it. So let's think. Because I can move twice, gain a chrono token, but... No dice. He's going to blow everything up, but not in a good way. Okay, so I'm just going to move here twice. Toss the bomb in front of him. Blast the ghost, because that's the last of the ghosts. And then I'm just going to overheat. Just to get it out of there. We've still got this guy. He's got shields. But that's not a problem. Junk. Junk. Okay, don't have anything else. So if I fire this, pops their shields. And then if I fire everything, pops their heads. Move here, move here. Uh, let's just blow them up. Perfect. And then there's just that thing in the back. Don't care. Link? Okay, so there's decoy bombs. If unplayed, repeat the next time. Jam in your hand instead of heat. Now let's just go let's just go for linked cards. Okay, and another one of these. Area 51, code rent. I always wonder if I'm uh ooh, spawns asteroids nearby. Interesting. Now that's Void Spawn. Pop that. Don't worry about it. That's a lot of enemies. Uh, let's see. Hold up. Move that there. Ah, uh, hmm. This one's a bit tough. Because to some degree... Oh, it self-detonates. Never mind. I knew that wasn't going to be good. Okay, let's set that up. And the ghosts are in the clear for a round. So if I want to do anything, what I want to do is go here. That one guy's immune, but we don't care. Alright. So I'm going to have to worry about a couple of things. Blast. Do anything else. Oh, and that was my burnt card shoot. Oh, that silly. I think I'm going to lose here. Yeah, unless I have some magical means of blasting all of these things simultaneously. I mean, maybe I do? Bombs?
Uh, let's see. Not the greatest. We get one doom. I'm just going to move myself back. I am pushing it. These asteroid suckers are a problem. Okay, put that there. Makes them safe. Oh, now we want to fire everything. Okay, we got it. Without too much heat. I thought I was going to lose. Alright, uh, let's see. Do we have a linked? No. We do have a repeat and purge the card. Or reduce the heat cost. I'm just gonna go for Echo Throw Bomb. We can just huck a bunch of bombs. How have I not lost? I don't know. Okay, break a shield, draw a card, fire everything, or pyroclasm. Unused heat sink is added to your heat sink next turn. Ooh. Thermal, thermal conductor? Like, Pyroclasm is interesting. My only immediate fear with it is that it could screw me over. Okay, what do we keep removing? Pyroclasm is safe as long as we have self. It's not so safe otherwise. I hate to get rid of the fires, but I think we don't want them. Because I get more. May maybe. I mean, again, I'm very much flying by the seat of my... What the hell? I'm very much flying by the seat of my pants. Okay. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give him some friends. So they're going to blast their faces. Okay. Captain Bomberman is shockingly working. Okay, put that there. We don't have too much else. Fire everything. Yeah, it could have been a bit better, but it's fine. Okay, let's do the unburner. Oh, they do zig and zag forward. I don't really have much here. Pyroclasm ain't gonna do jack. Okay. Oh, that's gonna help. We have more bombs. Why am I drawing so many cards? I have no idea. Uh, let's see. And unfortunately, both of these are gonna get overheated. Oh. I guess I'll burn the pyroclasm. Because it was gonna get burnt anyway. And we lose throw bombs, but I might be able to save it? No. It's fine. Okay, one, two. Ah, goofed this one. 
move here. Shoot. Shoot a bunch. Uh, that's different. I didn't know. I did not know that would happen. Okay, I'm just gonna put that there. I'll blow myself up, but it's fine. And, oh, we have found the the crackle. So the immediate problem here is I can't really do too much to him. Too many burnt cards. Okay. And we still have fire everything. Unfortunately, it zigzags. Which is not great. And burn that. Let's see. Oh, that can't do anything, can it? I do this. I don't know what that's going to do. Splits it out in kind of a bad way. And then I just kind of want nothing to do with these. Shield's broken on this guy. Okay. There be the danger zone. Still immune. Yeah, it's got this whole dang segment over here. Okay, move those there. Oh! Okay. Still have the Kraken. I don't know what's going on here. There's a lot of parts, clearly. Reload anything. I can't move. Which makes this inherently just worse. Uh, I wish I had gone bullet. Oh. Oh. I have screwed myself in the most hilarious way. I wish I wish this sucker wasn't immune, or if I was firing bullets. Because what's happened is... I have a ludicrous amount of those. Ah, I'm gonna lose. Or not? Game over. I'm not sure. I guess the plasma bomb didn't blow up in the right, uh, right way. Ooh, retry with a bonus. So yeah, we don't have either of these characters. Do we have anybody else though? Yes. So she's got rightmost hand unburns when your turn ends. Ooh, that's helpful. So she gets cards back. She gets extra energy, extra cards back, and defeat the Kraken unlock. So obviously I could have done that a little bit better. The self-replicating card actually proved to be my undoing, uh, as funny as it was. <laughs> uh, and I really liked the bomb build. The, the range was a little little low. I'd like to play around with, uh, with that a lot more. Honestly, I might actually give this another shot uh, in a couple of days or weeks or something like that. Just because of the sheer depth and breadth that this game already seems to offer. 
I also really appreciate the fact that it's not just a standard one versus one or one versus many. Um, you know, just standing there wailing on each other, roguelike deck builder. The fact that it's on a grid uh, makes it a lot more interesting to me. And the kind of push and pull mechanics very much more reminds me of Into the Breach, but in a much more like condensed manner that I can really appreciate. So I'm really looking forward to playing more of this. So if you guys want to play more yourselves, it is actually available on itch.io. It's very much still in development uh, and is only version 0.3. But as far as like a prototype demo goes, this is an incredibly good showing and I can't wait to see more. And it looks like the next uh, next update has meta progression. Hopefully it's, it's not too much. This feels like the kind of game that would be better if it only had like a little and the meta progression is mostly just giving you new starting options. Uh, so that every run feels more and more distinct, rather than extra HP or extra damage or something like that. Maybe. I don't know. I Maybe a couple of, like, loadout things. Like if your mech specifically had, like, three slots. Uh, one that makes it so you can move, like, one to two tiles at the beginning of every round. Uh, another one that gives you, like, an extra heat sink. And you kind of have to choose. So, like, there is clearly, like, a boost that you unlock. But once unlocked, it's pretty quick to unlock, and once unlocked, there's not, like, further scaling. Meta progression is scary for roguelikes, because it can, it can either be really good, or it can be... It can just actually make the game really boring, and I always, I always don't know. But, with all that said, uh, if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like, helps some more than you know. And if you want to see more rad new indie games every single day, then hit subscribe, because I got tons to check out. But for now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.